Have you ever considered how your thoughts and feelings impact your overall well-being? Welcome to an exploration of the power of the mind, a fascinating journey into the realm of mental health. Now, what is mental health? It's the state of our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Just like physical health, mental health plays a vital role in our daily life. It influences our relationships, productivity, and even our physical health. Yes, the mind and body are intrinsically linked. When your mental health is out of balance, your body may show signs too. Remember, your mind holds immense power. Harness it wisely. Do you know the signs of good mental health and more importantly, the signs of mental health struggles? Just as we care for our physical health, it's crucial to pay attention to our mental health as well. Recognizing the signs is the first step towards maintaining and improving our mental well-being. Good mental health is characterized by a general sense of well-being. It's feeling in control of your thoughts, emotions and behaviors. It's the ability to cope with life's stresses, work productively, and make meaningful contributions to your community. On the other hand, signs of mental health struggles can manifest in different ways. These can range from changes in behavior, mood, or thinking. For instance, feeling persistently sad or anxious or having low or no energy. It could be excessive fears or worries or extreme feelings of guilt. Changes in eating or sleeping habits, difficulty concentrating or unexplained aches and pains can also be indicators. Let's delve a little deeper into some common mental health disorders and their symptoms. Depression, for one, can cause a person to experience intense feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and a loss of interest in activities they once enjoyed. Anxiety disorders, on the other hand, can lead to excessive and prolonged feelings of fear and distress. Then there's bipolar disorder, which is characterized by extreme mood swings from extreme highs or mania to lows or depression. It's important to remember that these symptoms may vary greatly from person to person. What may seem like a minor issue to one person could be significantly more challenging for another. And just because someone exhibits one or more of these symptoms, it doesn't necessarily mean they have a mental health disorder. It's always best to consult with a health professional for a proper diagnosis. Also, experiencing mental health struggles doesn't mean you're weak or flawed. It's a part of the human experience, and it's okay to ask for help. We all have our ups and downs, and it's how we respond to these challenges that truly define us. Awareness is the first step towards improvement. So, let's continue our journey towards understanding, acceptance, and better mental health. Ever wondered how simple daily routines can shape your mental health? Let's delve into this question. Picture this. You're a ship sailing on the ocean of life. Your daily routines are the rudder that steers you. It's a powerful tool that can navigate you towards calm seas or stormy waters. The key elements of these routines are sleep, nutrition, and physical activity. First, let's talk about sleep. It's not just about recharging your body after a long day. It's a time when your mind repairs and renews itself. Getting a good night's sleep is like giving your brain a mini vacation. It can help reduce stress, improve mood, and boost your overall mental well-being. Next, consider nutrition. Ever heard the saying, you are what you eat? Well, it's not far from the truth. The food we eat fuels not only our bodies, but our minds too. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can help keep your mind sharp and your mood stable. Now let's not forget physical activity. It's not just about having a toned body or winning the race. Regular exercise releases endorphins, often known as the feel-good hormones. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a yoga session, or an intense workout, physical activity can help manage stress and anxiety, boost self-esteem, and improve sleep. But remember, it's all about balance. Too much or too little of anything can tip the scales. The goal is to create a routine that suits you, one that you can stick to, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. Small, consistent changes can lead to big improvements in your mental health. So take a moment to reflect on your daily routines. Are they steering you towards calm seas or stormy waters? Remember, the power to shape your mental health lies in your hands, or rather in your daily habits. Healthy habits are the building blocks of a healthy mind. What if you had a toolkit to handle stress effectively? Well, the good news is, you absolutely can. Let's delve into some practical stress management techniques that can help maintain calm and improve mental health. First up, we have deep breathing. 
This technique is as simple as it sounds but its effects can be profound. When you're feeling stressed, take a moment to focus on your breath. Inhale deeply through your nose, hold for a few seconds, and then exhale fully through your mouth. This simple act can help slow your heart rate, lower your blood pressure, and bring your mind back to the present moment. Next, let's talk about meditation. This ancient practice has been used for thousands of years to promote relaxation and inner peace. It involves focusing your attention and eliminating the stream of jumbled thoughts that may be crowding your mind. The beauty of meditation is that it doesn't require any special equipment or location. Whether you're in a quiet room or sitting in a park, just a few minutes of meditation can instill a sense of calm. Last, but certainly not least, is mindfulness. This involves being fully present and engaged in whatever you're doing at the moment. It's about noticing the world around you without judgment. Whether you're washing dishes or walking in a park, mindfulness encourages you to experience the moment fully. It's a great way to reduce stress and increase your enjoyment of life. These techniques may seem simple, but they can make a world of difference when it comes to managing stress. The key is consistency. Just like physical exercise, the benefits of these stress management techniques grow stronger and more enduring the more regularly you practice them. Remember, stress is a part of life, but how we handle stress can make all the difference in our mental health. Equip yourself with stress management tools, and you'll be better prepared for life's challenges. Practice these techniques and you'll be well on your way to a calmer, more peaceful state of mind. Did you know that it's okay to ask for help when things get tough mentally? Yes, you heard right. Seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to your strength and courage. It's an act of self-care, an affirmation that you value your own mental well-being. Let's talk a bit about the different forms of support available out there. Therapists and counselors are trained professionals who can provide guidance, coping strategies, and therapeutic techniques to help you manage your mental health. They create a safe, confidential space where you can express your feelings and concerns without fear of judgment. But professional help is not the only option. Trusted friends and family can also be a great source of support. Sometimes sharing your thoughts and feelings with someone who knows you well can make a world of difference. They may not have all the answers, but just knowing that someone cares can be incredibly comforting. Support groups, both online and offline, can also be a valuable resource. They offer a sense of community and understanding, a place where people experiencing similar struggles can share their stories and support each other. You may wonder, when is the right time to seek help? Well, if you're feeling persistently sad, anxious, or overwhelmed, if your feelings are interfering with your daily life, or if you're finding it hard to enjoy things you once loved, it may be time to reach out. Remember, it's completely okay to take this step. You don't need to navigate this journey alone. Seeking help can provide you with the tools and support you need to take care of your mental health. And let's not forget, self-help is also a part of this journey. Reading self-help books, practicing mindfulness, engaging in physical activities, and maintaining a balanced diet can complement professional help and create a holistic approach to mental health care. So don't hesitate to reach out when you need it. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You're not alone. Can you imagine a world where mental health is as openly discussed as physical health? We've journeyed together through the power of the mind, recognizing signs of distress, the role of healthy habits, stress management techniques, and seeking help and support. It's evident that mental health is as vital as our physical health, if not more. We've learned that it's crucial to be aware of our mental state, to engage in healthful habits, to manage stress effectively, and to reach out when we need help. This journey towards improved mental health is a continuous one, and every step we take brings us closer to a healthier mind and a better life. So, let's keep the conversation going. If you found this video helpful, please share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips on mental health. Together we can break the stigma and make mental health a priority. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like for more videos.